Hi guys, I hope that you are doing well. Happy July. And today is Canada Day, so happy Canada Day. Yay. Um, I have your July horoscope here that I'm going to read. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was such a nice day out today that thought I would film outside, but we'll see. It might be too windy, or I can already hear like a plane kind of in the distance. So it might be too noisy, but I don't know. I just thought it would make for a nice atmosphere. Okay, so I have your horoscope ready. So why don't we start with Aries, 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 Aries. Home, family, and personal security get your attention. You've been spending quite a while already restructuring your foundation for future success and achievement. Intellectual and mental pursuits keep inborn initiative razor sharp. Your inner cruise director is working overtime. You may spend a lot of energy playing or fall in love quite passionately. Everyday environmental activities should still be pleasant. Social life is still in high gear. Continue expressing feelings of appreciation towards special others. Anyone received a special proposal since April? Continue to use that extra self-expressive energy to create something unique. Enlightenment comes first regarding career and public in image, then regarding groups and friends and goals. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Everyday environment is ablaze with activity. Speaking, writing, and learning are top priority. You've been spending quite some time pursuing deeper knowledge to learn to better your existence. The home front buzzes with activity. There will be numerous conversations. Some take a nostalgic turn. Watch out for confrontations with family members. Use inborn, torn energy to remain stable. Home renovations or starting the building of a new home is best done before Mercury goes retrograde. Financial opportunities, negotiations, and investments still favored. Beautiful things and places still attract you. Enlightenment comes regarding your need to expand your personal horizons then in regard to your career in public image. Gemini, 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 Gemini. Finances and personal values undergo change. You've been concentrating on wealth, possessions, and self-worth for a while. What's really important to you? Communications in your daily environment increase dramatically. That's one of your inborn talents. Tempo of daily life accelerates. Ensure the power of your words doesn't become a destructive weapon. Venus continues to transit your solar birth sign since April. You're still more personable, sociable, and charming. How many times have you changed your appearance? Several times? Continue asking for what you want. You might get it, at least until early August. Enlightenment comes regarding intense emotional or joint financial issues, then in regard to expanding your horizons. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Happy birthday, you tender, caring, 
nurturing crustaceans. Your new astrological year begins with Saturn still teaching you to look inward for honest self-evaluation in order to deal with shortcomings and weaknesses. Partnership and relationship issues may be revealed on the second. Pay attention this month to what you value in life. Materiality, intellectually, spiritually, Negotiations with others concerning money or property may begin. Loved ones may need your care. Charitable activities promote soul growth. Avoid the urge to make unwise and impulsive purchases and the tendency to force your beliefs on others. Month's end may reveal emotional experiences more intense than usual. Leo, 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 Leo. Do you dynamic lions feel as though you've been in a fog? It begins to clear by mid-month. Then you'll have a lot to communicate. Make use of that extra burst of energy as Mars continues trans transiting your birth sign until August 10th. It will be about 22 months before you get that extra burst again. Be careful not to roar too loudly. Activities with groups and with friends are increased this month. Social life is enhanced. Invitations may be numerous. Interaction with women may occur often. Many of you are still working on your spirituality and learning to accept yourself for who and what you are. Enlightenment is yours this month in the areas of work and health, and then later in regard to partnership and relationship issues. Virgo, 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 Virgo. Practical, detailed, and conscientious. That's how you'll operate in your group activities and in pursuing your goals and ambitions. People you associate with are a reflection of yourself. You're still being asked to consider whether they deserve you or whether you must move on. Your ultimate life vision is still being restructured. Meditation helps open your mind to higher visions and calms edginess that's hard to pin down. Say everything that needs to be said. Unspoken words, keeping secrets. This month, they might be held against you. Favorable circumstances in business and professional life arise. Enlightenment comes concerning what you love to do or possibly in romance and then regarding functions you perform on a daily basis. Libra, Libra, Libra. You've been quite expressive these past few months as your ruling planet has been in Gemini for an extended stay. Foreigners may be playing a key role. Consciousness, expanding experiences, broaden your vision, and provide personal growth through some Venusian, Venus, Venusian endeavor. Your personal state is highlighted. Personal reputation becomes public. Your creative words will be communicated in group activities and amongst friends. Don't be overbearing with your burning passion for goals and ambitions. A guardian angel remains on your shoulder until the end of September. Enlightenment comes first regarding home, family, or security issues, and then in regard to some romantic, creative, or pleasurable pursuit. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Use your inborn need for deep involvement and intense transformations to help expand your personal horizons through metaphysical, religious, or spiritual pursuits. 
a new course of study helps advance your career. You're still in a period of searching for the meaning of life. A good month for travel. Communicate what you need in your professional life. Promote your public image. Avoid petty details. Creative energy pours into your career and public in public image. Watch out for conflicts with others. Intimate encounters continue with more depth and intensity. Now Venus is direct. Credit applications are favorable. Enlightenment comes regarding something in your everyday environment and then concerning home or family issues. Sagittarius. 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 There's a lot of intensity in your normally open and lighthearted world. You're still learning the limitations of your own resources and how much you need to cooperate with and how much you depend on others. New courses of study not only broaden your scope of life, but they might awaken something deep in your soul. Partnership and relationship issues continue to progress smoothly. Some may finally decide to get married. Legal issues may be resolved out of court. Now, new experiences entice you. Travel is favored as long as you don't go too far too fast. Long distance moves may be in the works. Enlightenment comes regarding finances and or your set of values and then concerning communications in your everyday environment. Capricorn, Capricorn. Partnership and relationship issues continue needing to be addressed. Saturn still transits your chart sector, requiring analysis of commitments and expectations in your relationships. Look inward. Reflect on deep psychological truths. Get in touch with hidden aspects of yourself. Expect intense and profound conversations. Good month for research and investigation. Work-related matters and employee relationships continue smoothly. So does the tendency to overindulge in food and drink. Your ability to handle sudden, urgent situations is being tested. Experiences yield transformation in how you assert yourself. Enlightenment comes first about personal emotional issues, then in regard to your values or how you spend your money. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Your innovation and originality is being drawn upon at work or in your everyday service. You're still in a period of learning the value of daily work and service and of keeping your body functioning in a healthy manner. Communication flows in a creative fashion in partnerships and relationships. People may enter your life that uncannily resemble and act like others you know. Fun, entertainment, and having a good time are still priorities. A new relationship could begin. Watch the tendency to get either overly passionate or angry and violent with others. Make sure conflicts that arise are worth fighting over. Enlightenment comes regarding spiritual or mystical disciplines and then in regard to personal emotional issues. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Summertime is when you are drawn most to romance, creativity, and pleasure. You've been in an extended period of exploring personal creativity and self-expression. The purpose of your existence is one of your biggest concerns. Communication around 
at work or within areas of personal service is necessary. The pace of your daily rhythm accelerates. Health issues may surface. Watch out for disputes and arguments with coworkers. Exercise programs benefit you now. The atmosphere at home and with family should still be pleasant. Redecoration fever still burns. Spring cleaning taking longer than anticipated. Enlightenment comes regarding groups and friends and goals and ambitions, then regarding your higher spiritual connection. So those were all the horoscopes for July 2018. Let me know what you thought about yours and whether you believe in horoscopes or not. Um, I thought mine was interesting. It was interesting that it mentioned that credit applications are favorable because I just applied for a credit card for the first time in like a long time. So just kind of, some of the things I think might, are, they're probably just coincidental, but I think it's kind of interesting how you can always find something that you're like, wow, that applies exactly to me, you know? So anyways, I hope you enjoyed uh, listening to your horoscope. And I hope you like it outside. I know it got kind of windy a couple times, but um, I'll listen back to it and see uh, if I should do it again sometime or not. And let me know if you think I should film outside again. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you really soon.